yo, yo, yo. Man, it's the final day of International Food Week and we have sent our taste buds on a journey to some amazing countries. And so again, our final destination is Japan with a popular street snack, takoyaki. Welcome to my kitchen. I tried what I hope was authentic Japanese snacks. And then some people were like, what the hell? I was hoping that you would cook something. And I was like, you need to calm down. Jeez. So this year I consulted my Japanese liaison and he told me about takoyaki. And it's a fried or grilled ball shaped snack filled with octopus. Yes, octopus. Now, if you're an adventurous foodie like me, you'll be fine. If you dislike seafood, then get a spike. I mean, try a different protein. All right, so the batter is a dashi flavored batter that's filled with octopus and other ingredients. And then it's either fried or grilled on a takoyaki pan. More on that later. So let's just get started with the batter and the other ingredients. All right, so I have two green onions that I want to get sliced up. and then we're gonna set these aside. Then I have one tablespoon of pickled red ginger. I just wanna get this minced up really nice. Then we're gonna set this aside too. And then here I have a tentacle of the octopus. Now it's up to you how much or how little that you wanna add the octopus. If you want, you can just kind of cut it into chunks to put in the middle. Or if you want, you can just mince it up fine, kind of like me. Now it's said that the oldest known takoyaki store is Ayazuya in Osaka, founded by Tomokishi Endo, and it has been open since the 1930s. And it says the first takoyaki included beef and konjac, but later Endo changed to using the now traditional octopus and added flavor to the batter. Beautiful. All right, now we're just going to assemble our batter. So in a bowl, we're gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Right, and then we're gonna add two large eggs, a teaspoon of soy sauce, and then one and a half cup of dashi. Now what I did is I had some dashi powder that I added to um, a cup and a half of water that I heated up. Then we're gonna go ahead and add this in, and we're gonna whisk all the ingredients together until it's well blended and smooth. And dashi is a class of soup and cooking stocks used in Japanese cuisine. And dashi forms the base for like miso soups, clear broths, noodle broths, and many other kinds of simmering lipids. And that's to accentuate the sa savory flavor as umami. And then to this, we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of katsuobushi. I think I said that right. Or bonita figs. And katsuobushi is a dried, fermented, and smoked skipjack tuna. But it's also known as bonita flakes when a young bonita is used as a cheaper substitute to the skipjack tuna. Beautiful. Now we're just going to transfer this into a measuring cup just so it's easier to pour later. Okay, so there's a special takoyaki pan th that you use to make these. But it's not like you can just walk up into your local Walmart and grab one. Okay. But if you want the full takoyaki experience, by all means, go ahead and get you one. But if you don't want to be bothered or you kind of want more of a homemade feel, then grab yourself one of these. Yes, this is an ice cube tray. Uh-huh. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill these, then freeze them, and then we'll deep fry our takoyaki. All right, so now we're going to build our takoyakis in our ice cube trays. So to the trays, we're going to add our ingredients. And we're gonna add green onions, 
our minced octopus. Pickled red ginger. And some tenkatsu, which is tempura scraps. And basically what you can do is you can just make a tempura batter, just kind of drizzle it into some hot oil and let them fry up. And then you can just set those aside. Perfect. And so in each well, we're going to pour in our batter and this makes a roughly two ice cube trays full. Now these are gonna go in the freezer for a few hours to completely firm up, and then we're gonna get ready to fry them. All right, so our takoyaki is out of the freezer, and so what we're just gonna do is pop these out of the ice cube tray. And then I have my oil heated to 350 degrees. We're gonna get these fried up until they're golden brown. Now normally when a food is frying, it rises to the surface when it's completely done. But with these, I found that the inside isn't always completely done. So even though they do raise to the surface, give them another minute or two to fry so that they're completely cooked. And then what we do is just get these some toppings. So I have some takoyaki sauce, which is a special sauce that I got from my local Asian market. Then I have some Japanese mayo. Aonori, or dried seaweed. It's like the same wraps that you use for sushi. What I did is I just crumbled these up. And I have some more of those bonita flakes. And there you have Japanese street snack deliciousness on a plate. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more and comment below if you've had takoyaki before or if you've also been to Japan. Cause I definitely, that's on my list of things. That I want to go to Japan, just saying. Anyways, <laughs> and you can also comment below if you haven't had takoyaki before and you definitely want to give it a shot now that you've seen this recipe. You can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you bunches for joining me during my International Food Week this year, and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.